Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, everyone. I know this isn't my normal time, but my day uh, kind of changed. But I wanted to make sure that I came on and did a periscope to encourage you all on this Wednesday. So invite your followers, invite your friends. I believe this will truly be a blessing for many of you. So I thank you all so much for joining and for already releasing the hearts. Welcome, 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 welcome. Just going to give it a few moments. Um, sorry for not being able to be with you all on last week, but I am here today. So let me get started. I don't like to do a whole lot of things uh, before we before we go into the scope. I just like to go into the scope. So this morning, after I had um, done my prayer and after I would uh, read my Bible, I heard a word, just one one word. And I began to think about that word and the word began to build. And you guys know me, I always got to go look for the definition of words and find out what it really means. But the word I heard, hi, the word I heard was interfere. Interfere. That's the word that I heard. And I began to think about what I thought the definition of interfere meant. And I thought about it more and more and more and more. So then I went and looked up the definition of interfere. And interfere, to interfere, means to prevent a process or activity from continuing or being carried out properly. It also means to take part or intervene in an activity without initiation um, or necessity. It also means to augment or to diminish. And the more I thought about the word interfere, what came to me was this, is as we are in the last quarter of this year, the enemy is trying to interfere in the plans and the, um, the, the purposes um, and the pursuits that many believers have been working on for a period of time. He's trying to interfere. Um, and what came to me was the reason why I titled this, is it an I or is it an E, is because the more I thought about the word interfere, which is spelled I-N-T-E-R-F-E-R-E, -E -E, I then actually saw instead of the initial spelling of interfere, which begins with an I, I saw E-N-T-E-R-F-E-A-R. -E so he is trying to enter. He is trying to introduce himself. He is trying to come in to a situation. He is trying to enter fear into your heart, into your thoughts, into your beliefs, into your purpose, into your projects. He's trying to put an entrance using that as a doorway to present fear to you before you end this year. And what's interesting is this, the definition of enter, E-N-T-E-R, actually means to come into a pre-established situation or context like an actor coming on stage. And for many of you, the play for 2017, your, your life in 2017, hi Jackie, the play has been set, the stage has been set, the characters have been in place, you have been acting out different scenes, you have been overcoming different obstacles, um, your audience has watched you grow, your audience has watched you develop, and now we are in the final act, the final scene of 2017, this last quarter of the year, and now the enemy is trying to enter stage left. He's trying to come on. He's trying to cast himself. Some people he's trying to disguise himself as someone that you already um, um, had on the scene in the beginning of the year. He's trying to take roles that aren't his. He's trying to enter into your life, but he's not just trying to enter. He's trying to come in with 
fear. And I know one of the greatest doorways that the enemy uses to enter or introduce fear in our lives is time. He wants many of you to believe that, you know, because you didn't complete it in the first quarter, because you didn't complete it in the second quarter, because you didn't complete it in the third quarter, you might as not, you might as well not even try to complete it in the fourth quarter. He's trying to enter. He's trying to cause fear to enter into your life. So he's interfering in one way, but he's trying to enter, introduce fear in another way. So I was like, man, that's, 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 that's something because interfere is a true word. But then when you look at it, spelling it E N T E R F E A R, it gives it a whole nother meaning of how the enemy is trying to interfere into your life. And the thing is you have to close the doorways. You have to close the windows. You have to close the entry points that he's been able to use in prior seasons of your life. But I want to encourage you because I went and found some scriptures. Thank you. I went and found some scriptures that line up with interfere. And in Proverbs 24, verse 15 through 16, in the message translation, it says, don't interfere with good people's lives. Don't try to get the best of them. No matter how many times you trip them up, God loyal people don't stay down long. Soon they're up on their feet while the wicked end up flat on their faces. So I, that's one scripture I want to share with you all. Again, for those of you who just joined, the topic, <laughs> the topic is um, a play on words. Is it an I or is it an E? So we know the word interfere is spelled I-N-T-E-R-F-E-R-E. But what I'm trying to share with you is that the enemy is trying to enter E-N-T-E-R, fear, F-E-A-R, in your life in this season, in this last quarter, like never before. But let me share one more scripture with you that I really believe will bless many of you. In Nehemiah 6 and 15, in the voice version, it says, even with all that interference, the wall was soon finished. It was the 25th day of Elul. The work had been accomplished in 52 days. Now, when I found that scripture, that really blessed me because you can truly take that scripture and you can insert what you know you've been wait, working on that the enemy has tried to bring interference. The enemy has tried to enter fear and make you feel as though you should have stopped. It's not going to get done. It's not going to get completed. Now, most of us know about the story of Nehemiah when he was trying to build the wall. He had Sanballat and Tobiah speaking all this stuff that went against the purpose of what God was telling him to do. But one thing about Nehemiah, the people that he The people that he chose to help him build the wall, the scripture said that they had a mind to work, but then they not only worked, they worked and they watched, they worked and they watched. And for some of you, 2017 has been a very interesting year. And it may seem as though the work that you've been doing doesn't have the outcome that you thought it would. But that's why I want you to look at this scripture again. Again, this is Nehemiah 6.15 in the voice version. It says, even with all that interference and just think of everything that has just come up, every sand ballot, every spirit of Tobiah that has tried to come up against you to try and get you to stop from building. But what you have to understand, even if you just added one more sentence to that book, even if you just did a few more multiplications for that business plan, even if you just put one more paragraph for that profit, for that project, even if you just made one more page for that nonprofit application, You are still building towards what God has called you to do. But I want you to be encouraged because listen, it says, even with all that interference, the wall, and you can say the book, the project, the business, 
was soon finished. This needs to be a declaration that some of you need to make from this day till we get to the end of 2017. It says, even with all that interference, the wall was soon finished. That just blessed me on today. So I went and looked up how many days we have until 2018. We have 75 days before we cross over into 2018. And I'm telling you this scripture, this word, this revelation, this understanding has come to encourage you that your wall can still be finished. Your wall can still be completed even with all the interference, even with all the fear that the enemy has tried to introduce and enter into your life, you can declare that whatever it is that you have been working on, that it will soon be finished. Don't leave 2017 without a completed work. Now, mind you, Sam Ballard and Tobiah, they had an assignment and they were on their assignment. Just like you have to be on your assignment, though the interference may come, though the distractions may come, continue to be like the people and have a mind to do the work. Even if you can set aside 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, if you do that every day for the next 75 days, what you have been working on will be built It will be built. The thing is, the enemy comes to distract. He he comes to tell you, well, I mean, you don't have three quarters in the year and you ain't get it done yet. Listen, I'm so excited. I have a book project that I have been working on for quite some time that got so much momentum today. Now, I've been working on it for years. (laughs) I've been working on, no, this one I started working on at the beginning of the year. Yeah, this one I started working on at the beginning of the year and today it got so much momentum and I truly believe that in the next 75 days, this scripture will, this, this project will be completed. So some of you, this, this, this scope is just to encourage you to give you that boost to continue to put forth the effort. And I'm, I, some of you, the time frame may vary, even if you just think about it. That's putting effort. (laughs) That's putting effort towards the very thing that God has given you to do. But remember, um, the enemy, one of his major, major, um, doors that he used to enter or to bring fear in your life. And Nehemiah six and 15, I read that from the voice version. One of the biggest things he uses to bring fear into our lives is time. It's time. But I told a friend the other day, I threw the clock away. I'm not worried about the time that men give. I'm not worried about the time that family gives. I'm not worried about the time that society gives. I'm on God's time clock. Sometimes you got to throw the clock away. The clock that makes you feel as though because you haven't done or you haven't completed or you haven't connected. No, 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 no. You get on God's timetable. You get in his will. You get in his plan. And guess what? He can redeem the time for the time that you think you lost. All it, Listen, when I tell you I got so much momentum in one day, sometimes all it takes is one day, one email, one communication, you know, one conversation and everything that looked like it was dead, everything that looked like it was dormant, everything that looked like it was dry can have so much life because just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not breathing. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not working. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean that it's not building. Sometimes there's space that is needed, but make sure that you remain diligent. And when I say diligence, sometimes diligence is just remembering what God told you to do and writing down your checklist and checking things off and sending out emails and uploading videos, whatever it is. Everything doesn't have to be taxing, but do the little things because they are going to build that wall. So I wanted to encourage you because I was like, man, interfere, I-N-T-E-R-F-E-R-E slash enter, E-N-T-E-R, 
fear, F-E-A-R. I was like, wow, what a play on words. So I want you all to be encouraged. Again, be like the people in Nehemiah who had a mind to work. You got 75 days to get something done. You have 75 days to get something completed. And when I say get something done and get something completed, for some of you, it may be one chapter of a book. It might not be the whole book, but even if you complete one chapter, that's success. That's building a wall. For some of you, it just be it might be laying that one track for the CD. Yeah, it might not be the whole CD yet, but you're building the wall. Sometimes the enemy will have us so frustrated that we don't see the end of a thing that he doesn't help us to appreciate the process of getting to the end of the thing. You don't write a book with one chapter. It's multiple chapters, but you have to keep building. You have to keep adding and rejoice in every step that leads you closer to the fulfillment and the finishing of what he's told you to do. Some of you, your assignment is just to make a phone call and repent or apologize to somebody. <laughs> you do that and you'll have more momentum on the other things that he's given you to do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where everyone is. I don't know what everyone's assignment or what everyone's project <laughs> is to be. But I truly believe that in the next 75 days, you can be closer and you can have something in your hands that you didn't have 75 days prior. So I just want to encourage you because the enemy, he's on his job. He's trying to enter with fear. You know, some people, our fear is not having the finances to complete the project. But you know what? I was reading, I read or I listened to a story, excuse me. Someone shared a story of one of the um, writers um, from the 70s who did like the Shy Lights or something like that. He was one of the uh, he, he wrote the songs. And the thing about it was when he signed the contract, he was able to produce so many songs so quickly because they were already written. So he didn't have to go and try and figure out, oh, my God, I got to do this CD. Oh, my God, I got to do this project. He had been writing for years. And for some of you, it may not be so much to complete the project, but it may be to get the content together. Because all it takes is for you to meet one person. They say, as long as you got the content, we'll put it all together. You know stuff like that does happen, but most of us, we can't have that opportunity presented to us because we don't have the content together. So for some of you, the next 75 days is just putting the content together, whatever that may mean for you. <laughs> Whatever that may mean, try and put as much down as you can possibly put towards whatever God has given you, whether it's beefing up a business plan, whether it's writing a book, whether it's putting a CD together, whether it's starting a ministry. I mean, sometimes you just need the name of a thing. And you just keep adding to it. Now, mind you, I am grateful for everyone who is completing projects. But I think too many times we allow the enemy to beat us up because we begin to compare ourselves amongst ourselves. Don't get caught in that trap. No, you get and you stay focused on what it is that God has told you to do and for the next 75 days begin to carve out time. If that means you can't watch a TV show on a particular day because you got to set aside 30 minutes to do something, then do that. But I'm telling you, this scripture, let this be your inspiration. Even with all that interference, the wall was soon Finish. I know for me, I'm saying even with all that into finish, interference, the books were still finished. So I want you all to be because God, God can breathe on something in a day. He can breathe on something in a moment. You can spend one hour and get more out of that one hour because of the inspiration of the Holy Spirit than you have in the whole year. So don't beat yourself up for the last three quarters. OK, we can't change that and we can't do nothing about it. But guess what? We got 75 days. <laughs>
We have 75 days. And you know, seven and five is very prophetic numbers. I'm not going to go there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Seven means completion and, and five is, you know, representing the, the offices and the gifts. So the fivefold ministry and some everything else, favor and all that good stuff that come with the number five. But 75 days, you got 75 days partner with the Holy Spirit for the next 75 days and watch the wall be finished. So I pray that this go blessed you. <laughs> it blessed me. I was like, man, that. I got to come on and share this. I got to come on and share this um, because the enemy is definitely bringing in fear, but you don't have to embrace it. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to acknowledge it. You can let him know that is not your portion because God has not given you the spirit of fear, ah! but a power love <laughs> and a sound mind. Sorry, phone fell. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you all with that on today. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for joining me. As you can see, my name is Mashani Allen. You can easily go to my website, MashaniAllen.com to learn more about me, as well as connect on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Mashani Allen. And for those of you who haven't purchased my current book, the Beauty of Holiness and Makeover from the Inside Out. You can purchase that on any platform, Amazon, um, and everything else. You can find it anywhere. Um, but there will be a, a couple more to come because for the next 75 days, we're about to be busy um, getting some things in place to be able to be a greater blessing uh, to the kingdom. So I'm excited. Um, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to encourage. I just wanted to empower um, you to believe not just God, but believe in yourself, believe in yourself and believe in yourself enough to where you set aside the time to do the work, to build the wall so you can be a blessing to more than you've ever been a blessing to before. So you all be blessed. Thank you all for joining. I'll see you next week.